Hello everybody, my name is Brian Strasser and I'm with Farmer Supply Sales Incorporated. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you about John Deere's online presence tool, uh, www.myjohndeere.com. So a little bit of uh, details around the myjohndeere.com is it is mostly built around Google Chrome and using that as a web browser. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually take you to the website and show you how to use myjohndeere.com. Thank you very much. Hello everybody, this is Brian again and we are on the computer now. So I'm going to teach you how to use myjohndeere.com. So in the address bar, we are going to key in www.myjohndeere.com. I'm going to press enter. So then that brings you up to the uh, main page for myjohndeere.com. So this has the username and uh, then it also has the password. Um, it has a pin right here which is only used for John Deere Financial. So you, if you're not logging on to John Deere Financial, you don't need to worry about keying that in. Um, there's a forgot username and a forgot password. Um, also, here is the sign in button and then you can click remember me this checkbox right here and what that will do is it will remember your username every time you will have to key in your password every time but for right now that will just be remembering your user ID here is a couple more uh, links uh, create new account or create account and those are if you don't currently have a my John Deere account you can go and click on those and set one up if you have any John Deere GPS equipment or AMS equipment today, you probably already have an account that you don't know about. So I would encourage you to get a hold of your local John Deere dealer and uh, they will certainly help you look up your user ID and password. Then there's a couple more links here. Uh, help signing in, uh, notifications which I will tell you more about later, and learn more. So um, also there is a couple more links here. This, if you click on the John Deere, it actually takes you to the main John Deere page. And then if you click on my John Deere, it will actually, you know, go to the my John Deere web page, uh, base page for you. So for right now, I'm going to key in my username. And then I'm going to key in my password. and then click sign in. So then that takes you to this base homepage. Okay guys, now we got down to the nitty gritty. So as I explained before, this is a link to get you to John Deere, and this is a link to get you to this page, which is my John Deere, if you are already logged on. Obviously it knows my name, and then there are notifications, if there are any here. Um, edit profile, get help, and log out. So notifications, you can click on those. And so like right here, it has like a new notification to be able to uh, email and text message you when you have notifications come up on your My John Deere so that you don't have to check your account all the time. Then it also has some software updates for any AMS equipment or GPS equipment that you currently have today, okay? Then you can click on edit profile, which in there you can change your name, address. If you change your uh, email address or anything like that, uh, phone numbers, you can go ahead and edit that uh, in there. Then uh, get help is a nice help page that uh, will pull up and you can scroll through help on there. Log out is used for, uh, you know, if you don't want any other people uh, getting into your My John Deere. So I would highly encourage you to log out every time you are done doing that. My Solutions, this is, uh, this can vary depending on what you use My John Deere for, but this is my main base page. Um, and then also you got icons. You got small, medium, and large. The large icons are really, really nice to be able to just uh, go ahead and uh, click on those. So when you do uh, use things, functions inside of My John Deere, 
you can click on the actual picture here or you can click on the words down here. So now I'm going to give you a little snippet of each one of these icons. So this is my financial account. So that will allow you to get into any uh, financial things, which would be John Deere farm plan or any other equipment that you may have purchased, which you have a loan for or a lease uh, that you would have. Then uh, John Deere parts and inside of John Deere parts that will allow you to look up any part that uh, John Deere has built in the past uh, so that you can actually look up stuff on your own and um, be able to you know diagnose and try and figure out sometimes those parts diagrams are kind of nice to be able to put things back together as well. I will show you more about each one of these individually. So. John Deere Stellar Support, what that is used for is updating subscriptions and different things with subscriptions and has uh, your AMS equipment listed there. The John Deere's Operations Center, that is the uh, nuts or the, the meat of my John Deere and that will house your data as far as application data and things that you do on your farm and we'll go into there and uh, develop more with that. JD Link dashboard here is for the construction division that will allow you to go into uh, if you have any type of construction equipment will allow you to you know set up uh, curfews or set up uh, boundaries or even look at efficiencies of your uh, equipment uh, along with this link right here which is JD Link and that's for the ag side for your tractors and uh, planters and combines and things like that okay the uh, timber navigation on the job site mapping that is another thing for construction world and it will allow you to do more things with your equipment and boundaries and stuff the field connect is for uh, the ag division or any type of uh, you know, device that you want to get from my John Deere or from John Deere or John Deere dealer for uh, using and measuring weather. So you can get a rain gauge, you can uh, put these out in your fields to help you uh, know how much rain you got or even how much your um, water usage is or how much uh, water table is in your moisture of your soil. Then we'll scroll down here to Ag Logics. And that is used for um, dispatching and uh, sending work orders out to certain groups of people. So if you are a bigger customer and you want to be able to dispatch your people without having to like call them and tell them where to go, you can also dispatch uh, prescriptions and uh, all kinds of things with Ag Logic. John Deere University is used to go ahead and take any John Deere class, online class that they would have for you that you can set up through your local John Deere dealer. Then here at the bottom of the page, you have weather, and this is obviously my zip code, and then it has what uh, the highs are for the next, for today and the next two days. Also a little bit of snidbit of weather information. Down here at the bottom is a contact us, legals, cookies, privacy, uh, and different things like that. So that is my John Deere um, in a nutshell. And then I'm going to also have more uh, videos and showing you what each one of these icons and more detail of, about my John Deere. So I'm going to go ahead and log out now and be done. Thank you guys very much for watching our video on Introduction to My John Deere. Stay tuned for more to come. We're going to do really in-depth um, in Operations Center, JD Link, what you can use all of those tools on My John Deere and so that you get the most out of the uh, online presence so that you, you can utilize that the most. Thank you very much and have a great day.